Andy, what what happened? Uh, I actually got in a fight with uh, with Paul Mayer, the the <laughs> owner, the manager. And, uh, yeah, we were looking for the fun flag, and uh, we knew that we had to find him. So, and we got a, it got a little bit rough. <laughs> And, and Roy just explained to us that Hayabusa is going to take it easier and relax. <laughs> and, oh, no, no. Oh, I see. <laughs> you can't hold. My, my story is not really stable again like this. So. You cannot hold back Hayabusa's energy. It's impossible. Not what? if it's going to be a fun flag. Thank you, guys. <laughs> It's time for STC Rhythm Mix P again. They had a bad round four with a 4.5 point deductions, and uh, they are probably out for redemption, trying to finish the day with a good round. It's a more technical sequence again with the memory in the front piece block 16 compressed accordion compressed accordion boxes bring this in right here and that was it for SCC Rhythm XP in round 5 meanwhile XL is fighting for the fourth place the third place is not really out of reach but has been taken by the French team Aerodyne, Aerocard had a strong comeback and now XL is in fourth place after round four with Aerocard Maubeuge, the second French team. XL has a fast round going here. So that might have uh, been successful or helpful for defending the fourth place. And there is Aerodyne Aero card who have been coming back very strongly after the terrible round one. They have um, made up ground to airspeed round by round. They couldn't catch up yet with Ayabusa, but they are very close to airspeed by now. And they're having another good round here, which might bring them even closer. There's only a two-point difference left between Airspeed and France after round four. And this was round five for Aerodyne Aerocard. And here is Arizona Airspeed trying to defend a two-point advantage over Aerodyne Aerocard, who were just in the tunnel previously it's a slow sequence slower sequence technically challenging and the airspeed also has a very good round but there is a big flaw which is not only a, an interruption and a penalty situation it is also slowing down the rhythm for quite a bit happened within working time so it looks like airspeed may uh, lose another point or two here to the French team. <laughs> Josh with a green helmet, not too happy. NMP PCH Hayabusa, the Belgians, have already worked out a seven point lead after four rounds. And uh, 
here they are with round five where none of the top teams well let's say uh, where Arizona airspeed has not delivered perfectly France had a pretty good round but it would not be a big surprise if Hayabusa would actually at least hold the lead or maybe even extend it. It's a good round, no problems at all, everything solid and flowing, no interru interruptions yet. And we are running towards the end of the working time already. Another great round for Hayabusa. for round six although the day is over but Hayabusa with a clear lead actually will have a relaxing preparation for tomorrow One minute for the NSR news. Sure. Thanks. You had a great day. Are you happy with how everything went? Yeah, of course. I'm yeah. still waiting for the last results. It looks good so far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did you did you find anything out about the fun flag? Oh, no, we tried to manipulate it, but oh, 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 there he is. Okay. And, uh, now we will get it. It's in a super secret place. So. Tomorrow it's mine. Uh, okay, uh, you know more than I know. <laughs> well, congratulations. Good day, guys, and, yeah, and we'll speak maybe you. later. Thank you. Thank you. Women's four-way competition is next and it begins once again with Paris Wicket. They have fallen a little bit behind the medal positions now, probably too far behind to be in contention. It's a five-point difference right now. And it begins with a with an 18 with a Zircon Zircon that isn't um, well trained obviously, not yet. And uh, the second one is a lot better than the first one but the train teams in the first three positions will probably um, be better trained on those technical challenging sequence uh, blocks and sequences and uh, Paris Wicket is still in the building phase with uh, Annie Pedersen filling in in the blue jumpsuit for, for the team Paris Wicket and it is still a horse race in the female four-way category. The first three teams are one point away from each other. ISB Air Remscheid, the German team, is currently tied in second place, one point behind uh, Aerodyne Deep Blue Defenders, and uh, tied with uh, Just For Fun. Round five will finish the day for the Germans and for all the other teams. No mistakes yet, it's not a fast sequence. There is a flaw right in front of our camera here. Um, but it's all tight and this round is not gonna change too much. Working time over. Average jump for the Germans. And the British team is next. Just for fun, here they are. One point behind no, sorry, one point ahead actually of the French team and the Germans in first place. And uh, they will probably hold this position or maybe also even extend the lead. Good start into the jump. Again, it's a memory die for the front piece. But those uh, Brit British ladies, they are highly experienced 
four-way competitors, they go on a faster pace than the German team and they are cleaner than the German team as well, so far in this round at least. And uh, they uh, are most likely extending the lead in round five, finishing the day. Their Aerodyne Deep Blue Defenders are last, one point behind just for fun from the UK. Here's the opportunity to uh, stay close, catch up or fall further behind. A little lift up there to the, the judges can still see that, not very well to judge. There's a missed completion of block 18, Zircon Zircon. A little um, level issues there, that was a very good 18 catch. Uh, but overall the Brits just had once again you know, a very strong round here and uh, um, nothing will change on the top of the leaderboard probably. Looks like a tie between Germany and France and, uh, and another winning round for <laughs> That's Paris, Perrin Sanchez. <laughs> Thanks, Perry. There she is. She was just flying up to the window there. Perrin, am I distracting you out there on the window? She's not I hope I'm not distracting you out there on the window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was very nice. <laughs> at all. Ah. Ah. <laughs> What's up Kurt? Here we time, go baby. Time to go black magic. Black magic. Third year now. Show some black magic. Good luck guys.
There it is. On the screen, the question is, where is it in Rio? Jill Young, did you find out a little bit more about your round one? No, we want we want to see the up, up video to see what happens. Did you see my? Did you look yeah. at closer look at my video already? We are sad because we don't understand. I think it's a big mistake. We find the uh, one judge find eleven first on the uh, on the first one, and uh, we think it's a mistake and it's uh, it's not. Uh, a good thing for the competition because after one one we are really far, yeah. really on board. And uh, are you catching up now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we try to continue. Yeah. Is that is, that's what usually every zona Espeed always says? They like yes. to catch up. They like to be behind and then yeah. come from behind. Is right. that does it feel like that for you now, kind of? Yeah, it's a good training to be behind. Yeah. But, uh, to start the competition with seven points, yeah. or eight points, you know. Okay. Well, good Where luck yeah. for the rest. from uh, Hayabusa and uh, Amelie from the Defenders, French female team. We've had quite a day, huh? It's a uh, bit of a long day, huh? What do you think, Roy? How was your day? Um, well, we did five rounds today and uh, I think we did a good start. We're now halfway with seven points ahead on airspeed and nine on the French. And what's your average right now? I have no idea. You have no idea? No, what but I'm sure you can tell me. No, I'm <laughs> no, no. at the average. I guess it will be around 31 maybe nice. at the moment. Yeah, I, I guess. Know. Yeah, I'm not sure though. Uh, Kurt, do you know? I think it was 32 after round 4. 4, and we made it 28, so yeah, okay. yeah, more or less. So you got 7 points on airspeed, and uh, yes. how about the French team? Um, we have 9 points ahead of the French team. Had a bit of a difficult start, but they're coming back strong, and uh, we're now halfway. And for sure, we're not uh, taking it easy because we know it's just seven or nine points, you know, uh, and five rounds can still happen a lot. So, uh, try to push hard through the next the next day. Yeah, I would bet you guys are going to sleep pretty good tonight. Seven points is quite a lead. I mean, nice place to be. Yeah, nice place to be. Yeah, the French team had seven busts on their uh, round one. Um, one of the judges busted them eleven times. Uh, I know there's been some protesting and talk going on. We don't know what's actually going on right now, but we'll get back to you. But they have come right back from that, and uh, they're right in the fight for first and second and third place. Amelie, how about your day? You guys have one hell of a show going on. How many lead changes have we had today? Um, I think three. Three different lead three changes in five yes. rounds. Yes. I think we lead the first one, then the, then everyone was equal, then the German, then now it's the British uh, for, for fun, just for fun. So um, it's quite nice and it's really exciting. I like it. It might be one of your most <laughs> most competitive absolutely, competitions that you've had, huh? Absolutely, for me, it's the most close and uh, everything. So it's really nice. 
Uh, so I hope we're gonna win tomorrow. And but going on like this, it's so exciting. You guys might not sleep like the Hayabusa guys. No. <laughs> You're gonna be dirt diving all Absolutely. Night long. Great. Right on. Well, thank you guys very much. Have a good day tomorrow, and uh, maybe we'll catch up. Be back with more NSL TV. See. Ya.